Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to read data from Excel and add the value of column A and column B and write the result of it in the column C. So first what we will do is we will use the launch action. We will use launch Excel action drag and drop and then select open the following document here you have to provide the path of the file so what so we will provide the path in different way so first we will use a special folder and in the special special folder we will specify the desktop a special folder name and then the value of it will be stored in the special folder path so what this action does is it will give you the path till the desktop okay but because my file is available in the downloads folder i will choose another command which is called as replace drag and drop the replace text and then <coughs> replace the word desktop with downloads and store the result in the special folder path click on save and then open the launch excel specify the same variable and then the file name and then here you have to specify that your first column okay so here you have to, the instance will be stored in the excel instance then you have to use the get first free column and row and the instance will be excel instance and the first free column and row will be stored in the first free column variable and first free row variable res respectively and then you have to use a command called read from excel worksheet and then you have to select the values from a range of cells because we are going to read from a range of cells and then we have to specify this variable so we want to read the data till the end of the rows and columns right so first we will specify first free column and then put minus one so that it will read the exactly till the last column and then choose first free row and then make it minus one so that it reads the till the last row and the result will be stored in the excel data so now that we have the data stored in the excel data so excel data will have the data table and then we will use for each variable for each loop and then you have to choose excel data variable which is having the data table and the current row will be stored in the current item what we have to do is we have to declare a variable which will be holding the current row number okay so what we will do is do here is we will name the variable as row count and declare it as one okay and then we'll have to do one more thing is we'll have to increase this variable every time we have to come and increase the variable and that's to increase the value variable we will choose increase variable action and here we'll have to specify the row count variable name and we'll have to increase it by one okay so before increasing the variable row count 
what we will do is we will convert we will convert the value of column a let's let's say in the first iteration it is going to have the 12 but this 12 will be in the text format okay so what we will do here is we will convert this text into the number so we have a, a an action which is called as convert text to number so this is the action that we will choose and we will specify this current item and then we have to give the column name so the column name is old price okay and it will be stored in the in the variable that we will give which is let's say old price okay And again, we will drag this convert text to number action. And here we will give current item and the column name is new price. And here we will give the variable name as new price. Okay. then what we will do is we will write this value so we will use write to write to excel worksheet action to write the value in the column c we will drag it drag and drop it here and then we will write the value as old price plus new price so this will be the sum of it we have to write it in the column c and the row count is the variable name which will be holding the current row number click on save okay okay so that's it so now what we will do is we will close the file before because if we do not close it then it will give an error so first we will close the file and then we will click on run so now it is going to launch that file Okay, so it has given an error. So it says here, the, here it is the, there is an error. Okay, so the reason behind that is because in the read from Excel worksheet, in the advanced section, we did not say that, okay, the first row is having the column name. So now we will click on save and then close this file and run it again now it is going to launch the excel file and then it will start writing the value But here you see there is a problem. So what we will do is we will will increase the variable first, okay, so that it writes in the second row from the beginning. Okay, and then it will continue writing it. So we can just start the bot again. Yeah. 
variable so now you can see here that it has added these two values and written the sum of it in the column c similarly for the row 3 similarly for the row 4 and same way it has been done for the row 5 so this is how we can perform the calculation in the excel file using the power automate please like this video and subscribe my youtube channel and click on bell icon to get the notification thank you for watching have a great day bye bye